Today I would like to show you how to custom color this wall I have back here, this uh, front room wall. So it's very easy to do. Um, I'm gonna, you can apply all your custom colors to it. You simply right click on it and you go into edit mode on the wall. Then you go to select face. You will click on the face. You will go down here to the color swatch, which you see is above the materials. And you will go over here and you will get grab this little, this little eye grabber. But before you do that, you need to put a check in the apply now. Then you will click on the little eyedropper. You will go over here to the color you want this to merge with, and you will simply touch it. And as you can see, it will apply to you right then and there. That's how you do the walls. You can do them any color. You can, as long as the color is on your main wall, it is possible to do it and as you see it merges flawlessly. As for the molding around the wall, these are the textures that come in your content kit and you can simply change them by dragging them onto the different pieces here. Now if you are nervous about doing that, you can right click on it, on the, each of these individual pieces. You can again do select face. You can either go here, go down here to the, um, to the edit window and you, where you see the texture. So you're gonna go to the general object. So you're gonna go to this texture tab. You're gonna click on it. You're going to go down here to the texture window and then you can see you can just choose whatever trim you want from here for example this one or this one or the one i started with which is right up here that's one way to do it another way to do it would be to open this tab in your inventory, wherever it is you put your textures. I have it in textures. I'll scroll down here. I'll scroll down until you find your textures. As you can see, I've got a ton of textures. And let's see what we've got here. Still tone. And then you scroll down here till you see trim and you can simply drag the trim from your inventory directly into the window which is the second safest way to do it and the way that probably is the most dangerous is to click and drag it from here to here. Now, doing that is dangerous because you may accidentally drag it instead of to there, to the trim, you may actually drag it onto the wall, which would not be a good thing. But if you do that, you can, it's okay, you can simply drag your wall, your wall texture back and replace it. The beauty of this particular wall is this entire wall system is all one texture. So not only do you have the front, when you when you do a, a color on the front, you'll see it also applies on the back. Just to remind you how to do this, you're going to right click on this, you're going to go into edit on the wall you want to change, the wall you purchased for me, then you're going to go to select face, 
you're going to choose select face and you're going to click on the select face. You're going to click again on the color. You're going to choose your eyedropper, but not before you not before you've clicked apply now. And when you get your dropper, you'll click on the wall you want to mimic and it will immediately apply to the wall you want to change.